This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. Today, we want to talk about the idea of marriage and mortgages. And let's talk about that. They're, they're, hey, it's important, right? Being married or being unmarried impacts a mortgage. Right. And it's not necessarily the most intuitive thing, right? But uh, where you live matters when you're getting married. So Nevada, community property state, one of 13 in our union. Only 13? Only 13 community property states out of there. One of them happens to be Nevada. And, and, And what that basically says is this. If you are married and getting any kind of government-backed loan, a USDA loan, or, you know, or what we call rural financing, FHA, VA loans, mm-hmm. those mortgages require us to look at your spouse's credit regardless of whether or not they're going to be on the loan with you. Okay. So we're looking at their credit and we're getting their debts. So if they acquired, you know, a car payment, this sort of thing, but maybe it's not on your credit, it's only on theirs, that payment still comes into your loan qualification. Interesting. Now, you don't get their income because they're not on the loan, but you get their debts. Ah. That's the surprise. That's the kicker and what can catch people. Nevada law says if the debt of your spouse was acquired prior to the marriage, you don't have to count it. Oh, okay. So if you're talking to a national lender, they won't necessarily know about that. But going local, you will have some protection there. What I get into in the discussions with consumers who are thinking about, should I have my spouse on the loan? Should I not? If you are married, if you both go on the loan, then if something happens to one of you, you get hit by a bus, that sort of thing, the survivor gets to continue on with that loan unimpeded, doesn't have to change anything, doesn't requalify, everything is fine. But if you are married and your spouse is not on the loan, they don't get to continue on with that loan should you go away. Wow. So it does put your, what we call, non-borrowing spouse in a situation of, do they, do they have the funds to pay off that mortgage and deal with it? Can they refinance it into their name? What situation is there? That's something to go into this with your eyes open when wow. your spouse is not on the mortgage. They don't get to continue on with your mortgage just because. Okay, it's, let's let's suppose that, that, that you got spouse that's, that's on the mortgage and spouse that's not on the mortgage. Spouse yes. on, on the mortgage gets hit. Hit by a car, right. dead. Yes, and 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 uh, the mortgage company wants their wants their money. Is there a grace period that they are given that they can sell the property and and pay off the mortgage? There is not one built into the loan program it, itself, but there is there is time where they have to go through the foreclosure process right. Right. and do that. So there is there are some legal protections there um, that would give you time to potentially deal with it. And certainly, a lender will work with you in good faith in the early days. You just need to communicate and set your expectations. This has been Las Vegas Real Estate Now. Thanks for listening. And remember to tune in every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. on 101.5 FM, 720 AM, KDON.